Emily in Paris's third season concluded with a bang and unexpected developments that would strongly influence the fourth season. Season four of Emily in Paris is still highly anticipated after a cliffhanger conclusion that left several storylines unresolved. In contrast to the majority of Netflix shows, the renewal of the romantic comedy Emily in Paris for seasons three and four was announced simultaneously. Will the series comply with the WGA's request? And will we be able to watch Emily in Paris season four? Let's explore Emily's world now. There was good news, especially after the startling twist in Emily in Paris season three, episode 10, Charade, where Camille revealed Emily's and Gabriel's long-standing feelings for one another to everyone. No, see, that's what I thought. I think it's brains or balls, but it tastes like ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you dropped your crepe. Hashtag oh crepe. In season three, new characters were introduced, some of whom strained friendships between Emily, Mindy, and Ashley Park that had previously been stable. Season three tested Emily both professionally and personally by making her choose between the Gilbert Group and Sylvie's new marketing firm, forcing her to leave her comfort zone. Emily in Paris season four will undoubtedly need to tie up many loose ends given that Camille confessed to betraying Emily by carrying out her mother's plan in the season three finale. The Emily in Paris cast was outstanding in the third season, and new characters joined Emily and her closest friends as she overcame some of the most difficult obstacles in both her personal and professional lives. The Netflix original film Emily in Paris debuted in 2020 to mostly positive reviews, although it attracted harsh criticism for its stereotypical portrayal of Parisians and the French. Nevertheless, Emily in Paris was renewed for a second and third seasons, the latter of which is now streaming on Netflix. Emily Cooper, who relocated to France in season one to offer an American perspective to Savoir, a French marketing agency, is now in Paris. Emily in Paris explores Emily's personal issues with her new acquaintances and romantic connections, which peaked in season two, in addition to her struggles with French culture and the language. In season three, Emily encountered even greater difficulties at work and in her romantic relationships, which caused her to second-guess every choice she had made in the previous year. She was fortunately still traveling with her pals, and she also made new friends along the way. On June 17, 2023, Netflix made an announcement video to reassure viewers that the fourth season is still in production. Lily Collins spoke directly to the audience in this latest teaser and announced that they were getting ready to begin production on season four of the show. It's reasonable to say that last season's finale was dramatic. The story doesn't finish there. Surprise, she remarked. Collins promised fans more entertainment, more style, and even more drama. Furthermore, she alluded to a Roman holiday. She also provided a list of some open questions. According to the research, the show, which was created by Darren Star Productions in collaboration with MTV Entertainment Studios and Jax Media, has achieved enormous popularity and continues to be one of the most watched comedies in the Netflix catalog, with an astounding 684.2 million hours seen internationally in the top 10 positions. The third and fourth seasons were supposed to be filmed back to back, but it couldn't happen. The fourth season of Emily in Paris was delayed by two months as a result of the Writers Guild of America strike, which continues as writers battle for just remuneration. The writers strike has caused many projects to be delayed. Therefore, the start date for the fourth season will now be at least two months later than anticipated. Filming for the season was originally scheduled to begin in the fall of 2023. Pencils are down, and new scripts cannot be written until the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers accepts the WGA's requirements, which include a minimum capacity for writers' rooms and appropriate residuals for streaming titles. In an effort to make up for this, unscripted series are flourishing, yet many scripted series serve as tentpoles for their respective networks and streaming services. It is challenging to forecast when production will start up again because of the uncertainty surrounding the length of the strikes. According to the source, viewers may have to patiently wait until 2025 to watch the much-awaited fourth season of Emily in Paris because the strike action may last into 2024 or beyond. Guys, let me be very honest with you. Like you, I am also very excited for season four, but the motion pictures destroyed our plan. I don't know when the season will come and we'll be able to go again in Emily world. Coming back to our topic, when Netflix renewed Emily in Paris for a fourth season at the same time that they renewed it for a third in January 2022, there was no need to worry about season three ending on a cliffhanger and the plot not being resolved, as has happened with other Netflix properties, which raises the question of whether Netflix purposefully created certain shows to fail. 
With Emily in Paris, this wasn't the case. Instead, the shocking announcement of Camille's pregnancy in Season 3 and the unexpected revelation of Camille and Emily's pact in Charade were made more satisfying by the assurance of having both Emily in Paris in Seasons 3 and 4 to frame Emily's story. Before learning any further news about Season 4, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel for more information. Returning to our subject, the release date for Emily in Paris Season 4 has not been confirmed yet. But now Emily in Paris joins a long list of Netflix projects that have been hampered by the WGA and AMPTP's impasse in their discussions. This applies to Big Mouth Season 6, the well-liked animated program whose spin-off Human Resources will debut its second season this year. Seasons 5 and 6 of Stranger Things, Cobra Kai, the Roblo series Unstable, and the sitcom The Upshaws are some other programs that have been damaged. From all these series for which you are excited more like I am eagerly waiting for Stranger Things, let me know your view in the comment section. Moving back to our business, it will probably take some time before the writer strike has an effect on Netflix. Because of the platform's production timetable, many movies and television shows like Heartstopper Season 2, which will debut in August 2023, have been finished well before their debuts. But if an agreement isn't reached soon, the impacts will be felt severely within a year as delays on shows like Emily in Paris start to mount. While introducing new characters like Mindy's new love interest Nicholas, played by Paul Foreman, Camille's Fling and Sophia, played by Malia Kralin, the Emily in Paris Season 3 cast has previously brought back Alfie actor Lucien Laviscount as a series regular. Given the dramatic revelations from the Emily in Paris Season 3 finale, Lily Collins, Lucas Bravo and Camille Rosat will undoubtedly make a comeback. Lucien Laviscount's comeback as Alfie is quite likely for Season 4, even though Alfie and Emily's relationship was severely damaged after Camille's disclosure because he and Emily didn't get the opportunity to sort it out. Last but not least, without Ashley Park as Mindy, Emily in Paris wouldn't be the same, making her return all but certain. Where Emily in Paris will go in Season 4 following the cliffhanger is yet uncertain. The revelation from Camille made Emily and Gabriel interact. This implies that Emily can now select Gabriel unlike what occurred in Emily in Paris Season 2. However, given Gabriel's desire to have a family, Camille's pregnancy might not make a difference. Alfie's unexpected withdrawal didn't give them time to chat, so Mindy's Eurovision storyline with the band and Emily and Alfie's friendship will likely be explored. Wherever the fourth season's story takes its protagonists, it will undoubtedly be incredibly dramatic. Guys, as the video comes to a close, let me know which character you're looking forward to in Season 4. I'm waiting for Emily! So let me know who your favorite is in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.